hello we're gonna try something just a little bit different yeah different because the light is on I don't know how good of a light I'm gonna have but it seems to give me better clarity plus I really don't have time to waste uh, yeah look at this Okay, they desperately need to go in. And I'm not going to try and shove them back in and break them. But, um, you know, I'm stressing out here just a tad. I have this little camping chair I bring in here. And I always put things where they belong. Mm-hmm. No, obviously not. I always think I do. So, as I'm trying to get into these tight places, I realize... Doing my camper trailer, I'm going to have to deal with it. That's just how it is, actually. Ugh. So, what we're going to have to do is find a space for all of these. Because um, my daughter-in-law gave me a new tomato. It's called, It has a heart shape in the middle when you open it. And I, well, that's just sweet. So, we're going to try that. But I've got to get this done first. I do have to um, do a review of the garden for June and then I have to do the water irrigation. I took the raffle thing um, giveaway off for now. Jeez, I wonder what that is. Because uh, I need to read the rules more. I am getting hit with different things from Google and YouTube telling me be sure that you know that this is okay to say and be sure you know that this is not and it's way beyond what I normally thought because I talk like my grandchildren are in the room you know and maybe you know anyway so I can't really say things if I don't understand what I'm talking about it can get me in trouble um, what I wanted to show you to do with your scraps by the way is just make sure you always have a paper bag see and only put in there your scraps of um, vegetable products and then because you can recompost those there's no reason to throw them in the garbage you and I'll show you how to make a fabulous compost I make fabulous compost I just haven't done it in a while so we're gonna do the same thing we normally do and yeah I'm probably gonna speed it up cuz I got uh, about nine to put in and then I'll talk to you. Okay, I know it looks like I was cruel, huh? Yeah, I can be. <laughs> no, I'm joking. It's just that the root system under the ground is what's more important to me than all this stuff on top. And it has been sitting waiting for me to do this for so long that... And it's been under lights that are too hot for it. Um, I just want to give it a chance to whoo, reboot. See? The rest of this sure did. I mean, uh, we're going to have to do a little bit of staking here today. Let's get going so we can move on to the next. Oh, 
Okay, we're going to have to make a decision here. Which is going to lead into a different video, I know. But I'm going to have to make this decision. So, these aren't doing well here anyway, as far as I'm concerned. So, I'm going to take these out. And, uh, repot them with some stuff. I, uh, brought home some things, uh, from the last two family get-togethers I had. So, um... We're going to be repotting this anyway with some other things in a combination pot. And yeah, change of plans. Don't you love that? I know I do. No, you know what? I appreciate the little problems I have in my garden. They sure do beat the ones I have in life. And my social media problem? Well, I decided to walk away. Not completely from... Not this. Uh... I was going to say, you know, if you have questions and things, um, I do, I haven't put it on there yet, but I do have a Facebook page, but here's the thing, I don't have a lot of time, so, yeah, but I'd love for there to be able to be a place where you could share with me your pictures and things, and, um, but, uh, you know, I don't even remember what I called it. I just haven't had any time to run it or anything. But I walked away from all of the big social media things I was doing because it's not really helping me. See? Can you see those? I can't see a thing, to be honest with you. On this light? Okay. Um. I just walked away because the thing is, is, um, I appreciate everyone's support. But I don't need to go try to gain more support. Um, what I need to go gain is the natural subscribers that um, actually need my information. See how that got burnt under the light? It was too close. It was. It sat there for too long. Looks like a little tomato. A little tomato that could. Alright, let's get this guy in the ground. I'm going to quit talking. Okay, hold on. I gotta get some steaks here. Okay. I try not to be too bossy with them. Because, uh... Well, they like to go their own way. And I don't know if you can see... Can you see, uh... Let me see. No, you can't. I'm afraid to move the camera. Well, I'm gonna have to. See how much they've taken off? And it's kind of probably come back to bite me. But see? And they just keep going. So I have to try and train them somewhat. And I just try to do it gently again without trying to be bossy about it. Because I don't want to impose my will upon them. But I also don't want them to break. So, uh huh. -huh. Yeah, I'll show you how I tie that guy up because we're going to. Mm. Yeah, deep thought over here. Well, in the meantime, let's get the rest of them in here because I just want them to have something to lean upon. Can you even see? Well, I should show you what I'm going to do for him first so that I can wrap that up. Okay, I try to take it where it's not going to bend it. It's not going to cause it any stress. I do have twisty things for this that are meant for gardening, but I notice that they bite into my stuff. And, um... I'm just trying to give it a little bit of support. Can you see that? Can you see that well? Because I know so many of you have asked me about supporting your plants. There it is. 
Well, that was good, Cheryl. See? They're just, uh... Let me try and bring you in closer. They're just little, uh... Little clips, and you could just hold them there gently and not cause the plant so much stress. Because if you do, like I said, it'll keep the tomatoes from... It'll just kill off the whole vine, actually. So let's go back down here. Yeah, I know, I know, but I told you I wasn't a rocket scientist with this stuff. Um, not even a rocket scientist with this stuff. I was never really a gardener. And never very good at growing tomatoes. So, I seem to have a ha a knack for it now. In the house, of all places, I want to take all this off the bottom. It's only going to cause me problems. It's not going to help the plant any. Ugh. And yes, I misplaced my other stuff, but I don't think it's good for me to say the same slogan I usually do about going with what you got. Let's just leave it at that. We're going to go with what we got. Alright, so here we go. Now, it was actually my son that gave me this idea that we're going to do next before this gets out of control because it's going to get out of control. If you've ever grown tomatoes before, you know what I'm talking about. This is going to get crazy. So, what we're going to do, I might have to redo this shot altogether. It would probably be better because I'm going to show you how we're going to wire this in and basically create well, kind of like a tomato cage basically just to give it some support which is not going to make it very easy when we clean in here but oh well it needs to be done I'll be right back okay we're going to try it from here actually <laughs> It's really hard to get these shots in because it's so small in here. And I'm telling myself, well, sure, I'll be grateful. Yeah, I'm on this thing. Every time I get upset, which is very often these days. No, just because of the social media. And, um, you see? Just use your little gardening wire like this. And I'm going to show you what we're going to do. That's why I quit social media. Part of it. And the other is, it's just the ups and downs of YouTube. You know, there's a lot that I don't understand, and there's no one that I have to ask. And I'm watching videos from people that I have to hope to trust. So, I have some questions I've had to verify myself. Um, well, thank you very much. I hit my threshold. But I wish I didn't, because it makes me nervous. Everything like that makes me nervous. Anything like that where... Yeah, it takes me weeks and weeks and weeks to try to figure out what they want. It does, it does, it does. Okay, what I want to do is not make this too complicated. So, I'm just going to take one. Oh, I'm hoping this is going to reach all the way around. If it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. Because I'll show you why. Yeah, and you're going to need some kind of a uh, bolt cutters or... Well, whatever you have hanging around handy. Uh, what do you call those other things? Pliers. So what you want to do is just wrap it around here. Can you see that? Good. Yeah, you don't have to do it really tight or anything. It's going to... Just a couple twists. Yeah, i got to learn how to do knots and stuff, but not with this stuff. So I'm just going to take it around over here. I want to do this before the plant gets big, and I want to give it room. I don't want to make it too tight. So, look, my stuff is never going to look sexy. It's just not. I'm just not into all that. If it doesn't look pretty, as long as it functions, I'm happy. And right now, yes, I'll take function. Um, I'm going to want to wrap that just a tad. But see, I don't really have to worry about keeping it tight. What I'm really wanting to do is just give some sort of stability to the plant as it gets bigger. And, um, yeah, I'm going to duck in here around the light here. 
yeah, I'm about to go look for my camper trailer, actually. And, uh, sure, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting because I have to make sure it's going to fit in my garage after I beef up um, the uh, base. I'm going to go ahead and put the water in here now because it's one less thing in my way. I really only have like a five by five area in here. Okay, five and a half. Yes, let me tell you, every inch matters. Oh my goodness, I'm on my back. So, this is why I don't understand how you guys grow in tents. But, with that theory in mind there for a moment, it's the same theory for you. I don't want to be on camp, I really don't. <laughs> no, I don't. Hang on a minute, I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do this without doing that. Alright, because all I'm wanting to do is get in behind here. <laughs> uh, and I think that's where I'll leave it. Because I'm going to need it. Uh, I'm not so sure I wanted to incorporate that though. I didn't. I don't want to pinch upon anything. No, I just want to get around the support here. No, 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 it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. No, 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 no. Okay. And I'm leaving it loose for a reason. Does it ever get hot in here? What does this temperature say? Yeah, we need new thermometers. You know... Uh, 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 sorry. Small, small, small area. So see, you just cut yourself off another bit. Oh, we shouldn't need that much more. Oh yeah. And anything like this that you're growing that's going to spread out, whether it's in a tent or in a, in a grow area, it's the same um, theory. Just go ahead and stake it all around. I see people do it four, six times. And that way, as your stuff is um, growing out, it's not going to end up falling over and breaking one of the stems off. So I want to make sure I've got a little bit more. So I've seen many growers do it this way as well. Only theirs looks much nicer than mine. Um, everyone's stuff looks much nicer than mine. But you know what? As long as it functions. So we're going to try and go around here. Jeez, do I ever wish I would have... I, I don't even know if I did my hair. I kind of doubt it. But I gotta get this done. Oh well. You see this cord here? Yeah, sorry. This cord here? You never want to incorporate a cord into your wiring. Ever. Um, we'll talk about that more on uh, when I show you how to set up a grow. I keep running into problems. Um, these kind of problems, I, sorry. These kind of problems, though, I welcome. Because, uh, well, I just love my garden. So... I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna mess with that too much because I can't really get back there and I don't want to hurt the plant.
I always suggest if you have animals or children that you make sure that anything that you have well even like this you know you kind of make sure it's not gonna cut or scrape I can't tell you how upset I was I sent somebody some uh, plants and their cat uh, well they them but the whole thing is, is uh, I'm trying to come up with something to keep the cats from getting in. And the dogs, because my dog's getting in too. Oh, he likes to eat the soil for some reason. And it gives him some kind of a nitrogen burst and I had him fixed. And I'm telling you, anyway. It's like going to be out of rain gutter material. Like the stuff you cover your rain gutters with. Like I'm going to make a moss bowl with, kind of. And to where I can put it up here. To so I can still get the airflow. But um, kind of tilt it so they can't really get in the middle of it because I see some of you. <laughs> and I've seen it outside in my own garden. I can't stop the cats. Um, but these little, ran these little guards may be able to keep them out without cutting them up. I need to make sure it's not going to cause them any uh, harm. Um, while I'm standing here, well, that's just because of who I am. Huh. Yeah, well, back again about the, about the garden. I have so much of it that I have to catch up on that I don't know how far, well, it might be a while before I seem like I'm catching up with myself. Um, it's just because there's so much to do. I really should just pass on doing a uh, update, but... It, it gives me a good, clear indication of what's going on. Now, what I'm going to do is, not right now, because see, it's pretty stiff. If I try to pull it back here, I'm going to try to force its will and see it's going to end up bending or breaking here somewhere. So I'll just have to come back in here when it's time. I can always tell. See, like this, it'd be forcing, really. You should never force any things will. I've noticed that about spiders, actually. Well... They have a reason why they want to be there. So, yes, I should do one more row. Because this isn't tight enough, by the way. So what I'm going to do... You know what I'll do? I'll do another row when it's time. Or am I just being a chicken? I'm probably just being a chicken. Alright, fine. Let me go get something else. I'll be right back. Yeah, I said coward because it's really hot in here. And um, <clears throat> I never know about my space on my phone. But if I don't show you how to do this and I only partially show you, I'm not doing you any favors. So uh, what I'm going to end up doing here, which I really don't need to, but I'm going to do it anyway. Just to be on the safe side, can you see? See, I'm blinded by the light. But, I just want to make sure these two stay together. There we go. Yes, I should have cut it longer. I'll get my needle nose pliers in on that one later. Unless I can make these ones do it. All I need you to do is move. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're just going to loop a second one around the top. Mm -hmm. But wider this time. So, can you see that? Hmm. I'm not good at this stuff, you know. I told you that. But, here we go. We're going to start up here. I'm going to make it kind of tight here because we want it to stay. Yeah, you can tell I'm talking to it, huh? <laughs> oh, yes. Sometimes I talk to my plants, let me tell you. 
Then we're going to make it loose here again. We don't make it too tight. Yes, it makes more sense to do it the right way. I don't, I don't know why I never think of that. So we're going to try. Uh, I'll tell you why I don't like to do it the right way because it's clumsy. Yeah, it's not going to work. I was going to just going to take this around and do it, but I don't want to end up breaking my leaves and stuff. Yep, first time I've done it. I was just told this was a better idea than the other sticking ideas I've had. And those netting things, well, good luck with you, to you with those. That drives me crazy. It's too hard for me to get in there um, um, underneath the plants and stuff. I'm just not that talented. I'm not that talented to grow in a tent either. This is as much of a tent as I could handle. It is so hot in here. I have all the fans off. But you always want to watch your temperature. Um, they have all kinds of, if you don't have air conditioning, they have all kinds of different little air conditioning things that you can get, but from what I could tell, and I watched a lot of people that do van life, and, um, because I, you know, I'm interested in the camper trailer thing, and plus I was interested in what they were doing, but, um, I've noticed that they don't really have an answer for that, and if they don't have an answer for that, um, an affordable one. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I would. I'd actually actually go to Hobo Tech. Um, I think that's it. Hobo Tech, and uh, watch their reviews on stuff, and watch people that actually live in their uh, vans. You know, why did I bring that up for? It's because I learn everything from watching these guys. Uh. All right, see? Yes, I'm in my pajamas. Okay, I'm always in my pajamas. And to be honest with you, yeah, it's a little hot to be wearing your pajamas in here. Today, well, any day, I don't want it to be too tight. Again, I don't want it to hurt my little plant. Oh, I know why I brought that up, because of the air conditioning thing. Yeah, you're going to have to find a way to make sure that uh, you keep your... Oh, I'm so sorry. You keep your grows, uh, the temperature down. I don't let mine get above 74. When my air conditioning's out, well, hmm, you have to go with what you've got. And you just hope for the best, and you're going to have to try to find a way, just like the climate, to do your best to get around with it. But if you can, keep it down in the 70s, lower 70s, and keep your humidity down. Well, I like to keep mine down to 50%. I live in the south. So, not the south-south, but close enough to care about the dehumidifier. So, here I'm going to just tie it off. I don't know how much of this you've actually gotten to see, but I'll show you what my end result was. Yeah, because I realized I didn't move the camera around. Sorry. I don't have the thrip problem. I don't have the normal stresses that I usually have. I feel a lot calmer. And my fairy garden. Oh. Well, it, it's one of the things, I have this thing about being grateful lately. Yep, every time I get upset, I just start being grateful for everything. It works. That and deep breathing. Um, <laughs> it really works. So let's see what I got here. Can I possibly show you the end result here? Please. 
you know, I work so hard on things, and but in time you'll be able to see it more. But do you see what I did? I just basically gave it a little bit of a support for all the things that were going to come down. And I surely hope I have enough room for all this. Well, this and all of this. But uh, I'll talk to you later. Thanks for hanging out with me this long and being this patient. It looks like a... Well, maybe we could stick something in there and call it the Tiki Garden. <laughs> I don't know. Until later, I'll speak to you. And uh, hopefully I'll have tomatoes for my uh, update. We have to put some uh, baking soil in the soil. Don't forget that. As soon as they start to put on fruit, you need to put a little bit of baking soda in the soil. It makes them all the more sweeter. I'll talk to you later. Bye.